Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Today, we're exploring exciting new projects that are paving the way for a sustainable future. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Solid Oxide Fuel Cells SOFCs, represent a transformative technology in the renewable energy landscape. As a clean and efficient method for electricity generation, SOFCs have garnered significant attention in recent years. These cells work by converting the chemical energy of a fuel, typically hydrogen, directly into electrical energy through an electrochemical process. This process is inherently more efficient than traditional combustion-based power generation, offering a greener alternative with lower emissions. A key advantage of SOFCs lies in their fuel flexibility. Unlike other fuel cell types, SOFCs can operate on a variety of fuels, including hydrogen, natural gas, and even biogas. This versatility makes them an attractive option for diverse applications, from small-scale power generation in remote areas to large-scale energy projects. SOFCs consist of three main components, an anode, a cathode, and an electrolyte. The electrolyte is a solid ceramic material that conducts oxygen ions from the cathode to the anode. Here, the oxygen ions react with the fuel, releasing electrons and generating electricity. This process occurs at high temperatures, typically around 800 to 1000 degrees Celsius, which contributes to the high efficiency of SOFCs but also poses challenges in terms of materials durability and thermal management. Despite these challenges, recent advancements in materials science and engineering have led to significant improvements in SOFC technology. Innovations in electrolyte and electrode materials have enhanced the efficiency and longevity of these cells, making them more viable for widespread use. The ongoing research and development in this field are focused on reducing costs, improving durability, and scaling up the technology for larger applications. As the world moves towards a more sustainable energy future, SOFC stand out as a promising solution. Their ability to efficiently convert a variety of fuels into clean energy positions them as a key player in the transition to a low-carbon economy. Advancements in Electrolytes The electrolyte is a crucial component of solid oxide fuel cells, SOFCs, serving as the medium for oxygen ion conduction between the anode and cathode. Traditional SOFC electrolytes are made from ceramic materials, such as yttria-stabilized zirconia YSZ, which offer excellent ionic conductivity at high temperatures. However, these high operating temperatures can lead to accelerated degradation of the cell components, posing a significant challenge for the longevity and efficiency of SOFCs. In response to these challenges, researchers have been exploring new materials and designs for SOFC electrolytes. Recent advancements have focused on developing electrolytes that can operate effectively at lower temperatures, potentially reducing material stresses and extending the life of the fuel cells. These efforts include the development of alternative ceramic materials, such as doped ceria and lanthanum gallate, which show promise in enhancing ionic conductivity at reduced temperatures. One breakthrough in electrolyte technology comes from Kyushu University, where researchers have delved into the chemical workings of a novel electrolyte. This new generation of electrolytes is designed to improve the performance and durability of SOFCs by facilitating more efficient oxygen ion transfer. Such advancements not only enhance the cell's performance but also open the door to a broader range of applications, as lower operating temperatures can allow for more versatile material choices and system designs. Furthermore, the integration of nanotechnology into electrolyte development has been a game-changer. Nanoscale engineering allows for the creation of highly conductive pathways within the electrolyte, boosting the overall efficiency of the fuel cell. These nanostructured electrolytes can also reduce the activation energy required for ion conduction, further lowering the operational temperature of SOFCs. The development of advanced electrolytes is a critical step towards the commercialization of SOFC technology. By improving the efficiency, durability, and cost-effectiveness of these cells, these innovations pave the way for their broader adoption in various sectors, including residential power generation, transportation, and industrial applications. Carbonate Superstructured Fuel Cells one of the most notable recent advancements in solid oxide fuel cell SOFC, technology is the development of carbonate superstructured solid fuel cells CSSFCs. This innovative design, pioneered by researchers at Michigan Technological University, represents a significant leap in fuel cell efficiency and versatility. Unlike traditional SOFCs, which primarily utilize hydrogen as fuel, CSSFCs can directly use hydrocarbon fuels like methane. 
This ability to operate on readily available and diverse fuel sources markedly enhances the practicality and applicability of SOFT technology. The CSSFC features an interface between the electrolyte and melted carbonate, acting as an ultra-fast channel for oxygen ion transfer. This unique configuration allows for efficient operation at lower temperatures compared to conventional SOFTs, which typically require temperatures above 800 degrees Celsius. The CSSFC can operate effectively at temperatures as low as 470 degrees Celsius, significantly reducing thermal stresses and potentially increasing the lifespan of the cell. Lower operating temperatures also bring several other advantages. They allow for the use of less expensive and more abundant materials in the construction of the fuel cell, reducing overall manufacturing costs. Additionally, the reduced thermal load makes it easier to integrate these fuel cells into existing infrastructures and applications, such as residential power systems or auxiliary power units for vehicles. The flexibility in fuel choice is particularly promising for commercial applications. The ability to use methane and other hydrocarbons directly, without the need for an expensive reforming process, opens up new possibilities for energy generation from a variety of sources, including natural gas and biogas. This fuel flexibility, combined with the high efficiency and lower operational costs, positions CSSFCs as a game-changer in the field of renewable energy. Moreover, the CSSFC's unique design has shown an unprecedentedly high open circuit voltage OCV, indicative of minimal current leakage and high energy conversion efficiency. Such advancements not only improve the performance of SOFs but also contribute to reducing greenhouse gas emissions, furthering the goal of sustainable and clean energy solutions. Tackling Carbon Resistance in Anodes Anodes play a critical role in the functioning of solid oxide fuel cells SOFs, facilitating the electrochemical oxidation of the fuel. A major challenge in the development of SOFG anodes is their susceptibility to carbon buildup, especially when hydrocarbon fuels are used. Carbon deposition can block the active sites of the anode, leading to decreased performance and longevity of the fuel cell. Addressing this issue is crucial for enhancing the efficiency and durability of SOFGs, particularly in applications where hydrocarbon fuels are preferred. Recent advances in anode technology have focused on developing carbon-resistant materials. These materials are designed to withstand the harsh conditions within the fuel cell and prevent the accumulation of carbon deposits. Innovations in this area include the use of novel ceramic and metallic composites, as well as the incorporation of catalysts that facilitate the oxidation of carbon as it forms. One significant development in carbon-resistant anodes is the introduction of new ceramic materials that exhibit high electrical conductivity and excellent resistance to carbon buildup. These materials, often based on doped ceria or other mixed ionic electronic conductors, provide a pathway for rapid electron transfer, enhancing the overall efficiency of the fuel cell. Additionally, the introduction of nanostructured anodes has shown promise in increasing the surface area available for reaction, further reducing the likelihood of carbon deposition. Another approach to tackle carbon resistance is the modification of anode microstructure. Researchers have been experimenting with porous anodes that allow for better fuel permeation and more effective removal of reaction products. These porous structures also facilitate the dispersion of catalyst particles, increasing the active surface area and improving the anode's resistance to carbon fouling. The development of carbon-resistant anodes represents a significant step forward in SOFT technology. By enhancing the anode's ability to withstand carbon buildup, these advancements extend the life of the fuel cell and broaden the range of fuels that can be efficiently utilized. This progress not only improves the economic viability of SOFs but also contributes to their role in a sustainable energy future, offering a cleaner alternative to traditional fossil fuel-based power generation. Symmetrical Solid Oxide Electrolysis Cells Symmetrical Solid Oxide Electrolysis Cells SOX, have emerged as a promising advancement in the field of solid oxide fuel cell SOFC, technology. These innovative cells offer a unique blend of simplicity, efficiency, and versatility, making them a key player in the transition to a low-carbon energy future. SOICs operate on the principle of reversible electrolysis, where the same cell can be used for both hydrogen production, electrolysis, and electricity generation, fuel cell operation. The defining feature of SOICs is their symmetrical design, which employs identical electrodes on both sides of the electrolyte. This symmetry simplifies the cell structure, reducing the number of components and manufacturing steps required. The reversible nature of these cells allows for the production of hydrogen and oxygen during the electrolysis phase, with the gases then being utilized for electricity generation in the fuel cell mode. This dual functionality not only enhances the operational flexibility of the system but also decreases the overall cost of the technology. 
S. SOICs are particularly well suited for applications in hydrogen production and syngas conversion to low carbon fuels. The ability to efficiently convert electrical energy into storable hydrogen and vice versa opens up new possibilities for energy storage and distribution. This is especially relevant in the context of renewable energy sources like solar and wind, which are intermittent in nature. SOICs can store excess energy generated during peak production times as hydrogen, which can then be converted back into electricity when demand is high. The advancements in SOIC technology primarily focus on material development and enhancing the durability and performance of the cells. Researchers are exploring new electrode and electrolyte materials that can withstand the harsh operating conditions of SOICs while maintaining high efficiency. The challenges associated with material limitations, including thermal and chemical stability, are central to ongoing research. SOICs operate under extreme conditions, combining high temperatures and reactive atmospheres, which can lead to material degradation over time. To address this, scientists are delving into the microstructure of these materials, examining their crystallography, chemistry, and response to operational stresses. The goal is to identify materials that can maintain their structural integrity and functionality under these demanding conditions. In the realm of electrode materials, advancements focus on enhancing the electrochemical performance and longevity of the cell. This includes developing electrodes that can effectively catalyze the reactions involved in both hydrogen production and electricity generation. Researchers are experimenting with various compositions and structures, such as composite electrodes or those with nanostructured surfaces, to increase the active surface area and improve reaction kinetics. The electrolyte, a critical component of SOICs, is also undergoing significant improvements. The ideal electrolyte material needs to exhibit high ionic conductivity at lower temperatures to reduce energy consumption and operational costs. Emerging materials like dope ceramics are showing promise in achieving these objectives. These materials not only conduct ions more efficiently but also exhibit better chemical stability, reducing degradation over time. Additionally, the integration of advanced manufacturing techniques is playing a crucial role in the development of SOICs. Techniques such as additive manufacturing allow for the precise fabrication of components with complex geometries, leading to optimized cell designs that can enhance performance and reduce material usage. Overall, the advancements in SOIC technology are not just about finding new materials but also about understanding the interplay between these materials and the operational conditions of the cells. By addressing these challenges, researchers aim to create SOICs that are not only more efficient and durable but also cost-effective, paving the way for their broader adoption in various energy applications. In conclusion, the field of solid oxide fuel cells, particularly the emerging area of symmetrical solid oxide electrolysis cells, SOICs, stands at a transformative juncture. The progress in material development, coupled with a deeper understanding of the operational dynamics of these cells, is leading us towards more efficient, durable, and economically viable energy solutions. The advancements in electrode and electrolyte materials are addressing the core challenges of thermal and chemical stability, ensuring that these cells can withstand the rigors of high temperature operation while maintaining optimal performance. The exploration of new materials and structures, alongside innovative manufacturing techniques, is opening up avenues for enhanced electrochemical activity, longer cell lifespans, and reduced production costs. As these technological enhancements continue, SOICs are set to play a pivotal role in the global transition to a low-carbon energy future. Their ability to efficiently produce hydrogen and convert syngas to low-carbon fuels, while also being capable of reversible operation for electricity generation, positions them as a key technology in the renewable energy landscape. The ongoing research and development in this field not only promise to improve the performance and durability of SOICs but also aim to make them a more accessible and practical solution for a wide range of applications. From large-scale power generation to localized energy systems, the potential of SOICs to contribute to sustainable energy solutions is immense. As we continue to tackle the challenges of climate change and the pressing need for sustainable energy sources, the innovations in solid oxide fuel cell technology, especially SOICs, stand as a testament to the power of scientific inquiry and technological progress in shaping a cleaner, greener, and more energy-efficient world. Thanks for tuning into the ReneeEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights.
Thanks for watching.